Well, hi there. And today we will be discussing wheel offsets and spacers and what effect this has on handling, aesthetics, and fitment. This, uh, this is my diagram of a, a wheel with zero offset. That means that the hub of the wheel is in line, the interior of the hub is in line with the center line of the wheel. I believe that Porsche wheels are generally positive uh, offset. Uh, that means that the hub of the wheel is uh, towards the outside of the wheel. For instance, the front wheels of my 987 are ET57. This means that the interior surface of the hub of the wheel is 57 millimeters offset from the center line of the wheel. As you reduce the offset, the further you push the wheel outwards. So, if I were to replace these ET57 wheels with ET52s, I would be pushing the wheels out by 5 millimeters. If I add a 10 millimeter spacer as well, then I would effectively have an ET42, which represents 15 millimeters of extra negative ox offset. Therefore, my wheel would be pushed out by 15 millimeters. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, the spacers and wheel bolts. So this is a standard wheel bolt, and I'm just going to pop one of these guys out here. Because right now I have 10 millimeter spacers on here. One difference between using a wheel which has 10 millimeters less offset and using a 10 millimeter spacer is bolt length. Changing an ET50 to an ET40 wheel doesn't require any additional length on the bolts. The same is not true for spacers. If you add a 10 millimeter spacer on that wheel, you will need to have a 10 millimeter longer bolt. Often these are purchased as a set with the spacers. So if you have your eye on that nice set of Carrera lights and aren't quite sure if they will work on your car, you might want to start by heading over to wheelsize.com which has a handy calculator which visually compares various fitments from your input. For spacers, just subtract the thickness from the offset value. For instance, if you have a wheel that is ET50 and you have a 10 millimeter spacer, use ET40 in the calculator. Now while we're here in this calculator, I'd like to address one thing concerning pushing wheels out, either by using spacers or by using a wheel with a lower offset, and that is what is called scrub radius. It's simple really. As you're pushing these wheels out, the center line of the wheel, at its contact patch, will become distance from the diagonal line of the strut. So you're saying, hey, I just want my car to look cool. I think that we can all agree that running the wheels flush to the outside is more aesthetically pleasing. And for children around town, scrub radius means SFA. So, however, if you're trying to fine-tune that suspension for the track, it does take on a certain measure of importance. Let's just say that under heavy braking, acceleration and cornering, etc., that that scrub radius will affect toe-in and toe-out uh, when you're performing these actions. I'll refer you to an excellent explanation of this on another wonderful channel, and that's Jason's Engineering Explained. I'll put the link in the description below. So, coming up next is wheel studs versus wheel bolts. Don't miss it. Ciao. I hope this video worked for you. Please click on that handsome racer dude in the upper right corner to subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell to get notified of upcoming good stuff. Oh, and please leave a comment. Love those. You can click on the like if you like.